Hello there, it's David Taylor and I'm back with another one of my video blogs for the Pelagonium and Geranium Society. Accept my apologies for not doing that many videos over the last month, but realistically it's just purely down to time. Okay, so the, the main Pelagonium show month is June and we're into June now. The first thing I have to say is that I've been very, very disappointed actually with my plants that I timed to be flowering just about now and coming into flower over the next couple of weeks. Particularly the regals. The regals have been very, very slow. This plant here has got a lovely shape to it. It's a plant called Percy Hunt. And this was stopped, I stopped all of my regals at around 18 weeks, which is as long as you would need normally to give them. I've got two or three of them and they're all in about the same place. And uh, they're, they're going to miss the shows, they're just not going to be any good at all. Fantastic size, perfect size, perfect shape, uh, but there's just simply not going to be any bloom on them for the shows. And I have to say I'm very surprised, especially considering the very warm April that we had down here in the south. As I say, for the first time that I've shown in something like about 10 years, I'm obviously going to need to think about uh, adjusting timings because a lot of my plants are actually a little bit behind where I would expect them to be. Now having said that, the, um, the stellar types in particular are about where I would want them to be. Uh, this is a plant, this is one of my own raisings actually, Gosbrook Robin Louise, and this is going to be pretty good. This is going to be okay just about for um, this coming Saturday, I think, uh, five days time, um, but uh, probably be better for the National a few days later. I think their heads will be a slightly better formed, but um, that's not done too badly, and straightly enough I've got a few other angels, uh, sorry, other stellars, um, that have uh, come along and they're about the only types that are really where I would want them to be. Now we can also see here um, the angels are, are again they're, they're quite behind I mean that's a going to be a really good plant of Burkeswell Fiesta but um, again it's only just coming into flower it's certainly not going to be any good for this coming weekend and also uh, the following weekend for the national it's going to be debatable whether that's going to be ready um, i've got a very old standard here uh, which is actually semi brown which i think i've shown you in the past actually that's flowering like crazy that's actually going to look quite nice but it's it's not the best of a straight stem so i probably won't i'm not i won't have the room to take that to a show anyway but uh, that's doing very well now a scented plant this is gosbrook berry zest um that's coming on it's a bit open um, it's not that tight. I don't know how easy that will be to transport to shows, but we'll have to see, I think, how that one goes. That's not doing too bad. Now, it may always seem slightly odd, of course, but talking about show plants for this year, we're also perhaps beginning to think about show plants for next year at this stage as well. And I have been potting on a number of the plants that I've given, got earmarked for shows next year. Uh, and I've been doing that over the past couple of weeks. Um, a number of these plants, and I've currently got in 12 centimetre pots, I've been getting them up into their six inch or 15 centimetre pots, uh, ready for showing next year. They'll grow on then quite strongly for the main growing season this year. Uh, and then they're going to a good, I am shaping them, um, taken out of the odd stop here and there for, for stems that are being particularly long growing just to keep them a good shape uh, and then they'll get a stop probably around August, September time to take them through the winter and then their final stop uh, well maybe next year it will be early February the way that mine seem to be going now something that I have said of course is that I finally at long last got everything outside that I wanted to move and believe it or not, this great display that I've got here was packed into my glass houses um, over the last sort of month and it's been really difficult to try and work around all of these plants that I've had packed away. But finally last week we were able to get everything out and I don't think it's putting on too bad a display. A lot of them are still to come through but I'll just show you around a few that uh, I've got out. 
Now I actually put a lot of my angels out during the uh, summer because I think they actually do better. They don't like the heat of a lot of under glass work, plus the fact they tend to get a lot of white fly. But outside they really love it. And I've got a fair number here. This one's Burkeswell fondant and we've got Quantock candy which always makes a very good plant outside. Right, now one plant that I haven't shown you since I actually planted it up about two and a half months ago was this big basket, and it's come on very well. Um, the only minor issue that I had with it was that the small begonias that they planted in it actually failed. They didn't grow very well at all, so I hooked them out and replaced them with some more ivy leaf plants. I'm hopeful that these two, the bottom part, which is just basically some very small growing by verbena and diasica and that sort of plant meets up with the ivies as they tumble down towards the bottom and I think in about a month or so that will look spectacular. Some of the plants that I've got in here it's an ivy leaf called PAC Katie um, that's got a lovely vibrant red bloom um, I've got another PAC variety called White Pearl that's a beauty that one lovely vibrant bright white that's uh, it's had the sun on it and it's doing very well it's a lovely plant now other plants that I've got out I often put a lot of my standards outside during the summer I've got this very large phyllis which is getting on for 10 years old now which I again I think I've shown you before um, this is looking pretty good now it's just beginning to come into flower all I do is in a heavy clay pot and I actually tie against the, the, the fence there uh, with a piece of string just to stop it from blowing about too much in any wind that we may get during the summer and that stays out there now till about September uh, when the plants will begin to be brought back in for the uh, for the winter period Okay, well that just about wraps up this edition and I look forward to seeing you again uh, next time, hopefully in around about the middle of June, so we'll see how it goes.